Hello again. Back when I started this channel about three years ago, I did a three club challenge. Three clubs and a putter. My long club was my hybrid, so I had a club that I could hit 200 yards pretty straight. And the three clubs I had covered all four par threes. So I didn't really get into any trouble and it was no surprise that I scored pretty well. Now my friend Berry in the comments has said, you need to do this again. You need to do this with two clubs and a putter. And he specified seven iron, pitching wedge and the putter. Yeah. So I thought, why not? I'll go out and play nine holes. It'd be a bit of a laugh. And then I thought, no, actually, there's something serious in this. What if you're somebody who's never broken a hundred and you've got a bag full of straight faced clubs with long shafts that you can't actually hit, but you still insist on trying to hit? What happens if you get rid of all those clubs? I mean, obviously, you don't want to go this extreme, just two irons and a putter. But what happens if you do get rid of all of those clubs out of your bag that you can't hit? But I'll make it fun again. Instead of going round the relatively flat front nine, let's go up the hill, go round the back nine. And really test me. See what I can do with just these three. Well, is there any point in me telling you I'm taking a seven iron off the tee? Now there is a serious application here. I got a club in my hand that goes about 145 yards and I can hit reasonably straight on a little downslope here, so this is going to squirt right and low, which is ideal for a flag that's on the left. So no need to do anything special. Chip and run up the green. Now I'm out before the green keepers, or certainly the guy who's mowing the greens, so these are all very wet. And that means I've got to hit it harder which is not my strength. So we start with a bogey, but that doesn't matter if you're trying to break a hundred. Decent length for me seven iron. Now one good thing today is you'll be able to see if I'm cheating. That was a guy three years ago on YouTube and you could quite clearly see several tracks on the green and footprints going backwards and forwards where it had two or three goes at a putt and it was so obvious it was laughable now i said to berry i thought i might be able to make two pars today so my target is just to keep my mistakes down to bogeys and hopefully shoot seven over Par 34 around the back. So my target really is 41. Now I think I can actually reach this 12th with three decent shots. That's the first one. And here's the second one. And that's a knife. Cracking swing, Simon. <laughs> oh boy. Now, if I didn't have to drop back from the GUR, I might have actually made it up here. I was about, I don't know, a yard or two short of the top, and then it came back to me. I didn't take the seven, because it would have just been too much club. And that is a lazy, horrible chip. So now I'm under the gun. Yeah, having to put hard is not my forte. Well, at least I can't get into trouble with this tee shot with only a 7 iron in my hand. And this is actually the ideal up the hill, off an upslope, bit of a lazy 7 iron, make sure I get it far enough left that I can bounce it onto the green. And I've actually got a birdie chance. Yeah. 
I think you'd notice two or three tracks if I hadn't a couple of goes at that. Now the difficult bit. I can't get up the hill. Thanks, Barry. Could have given me a five iron, I might have had a chance. The only problem is, is it going to come back at me? And it certainly tried. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Now, I'm actually rather good at these. Sort of like a three quarter lazy swing. Just got to make sure that the club head doesn't overtake your hands. Now, the reason why there is a second ball there is because I'm making two videos at the same time. And I was doing a whole lot better with that other ball. I wonder if I can reach the fairway here. Yes, I can. Now the plan here is to go pitching wedge, pitching wedge, rather than hitting a seven iron and give myself an awkward yardage. And it would have worked if I hadn't have hit it fat. Now I'm out with a seven iron. I'm not even sure I can reach the green here, so for the first time, I'm actually leaning on this 7-9, and I make it up by a couple of feet or so. Yeah, the camera isn't even on the green. Long putt, and of course with it being wet, it's not running out, it's not turning as it should. But two days later, I played in a competition, and I putted like a fool. Simply because, today, I'm putting on wet greens. Now I knew what was going to happen to this ball. So I just laughed and laughed and laughed. Way up the left side of the fairway. And it disappeared <laughs> off the right side. 7-iron, I want to get up on the upslope, so then I can take my wedge, open the face a fraction, and pop it up. Shop tracer wouldn't work on that. It, sometimes it just doesn't do it. Up onto the green, and shop tracer doing its thing, being about half an hour behind the golf ball. Now this one's been cut, the guy cutting the greens has just been. And so we hammer it a mile past. This is what screwed up my putting in the competition on Saturday. And we had a double bogey. Par three, up the hill. and I've gone a little too far left, and would you believe it, the bloody thing stopped. It stopped. It stopped. Pitch over the bunker, landed it on the green, but on the down slope, and it's run away. Now I'm not getting into any real trouble. So, Perhaps this is a good exercise, after all. Right, we're almost done. But before I go down 18, I want to thank Barry for the suggestion. I only wish he'd let me have, have my hybrid, then I might have been able to make a score for myself. But this video isn't for myself, it's for you. Now, if you are stuck on 110, 115 perhaps, and you're not improving, and you're trying to find a way of improving. Well, perhaps taking some of these long clubs out of the bag is the answer. Now I'm doing another video about how I started in golf and I shall mention this, taking the long clubs out of the bag. So I'll save what I've got to say for that video. Thanks very much 
I wonder if I can make a par down the last. I don't think I can hit my 7 iron long enough to get round the corner. Thanks Barry. You've really screwed me up today. Ta-ra! Well if I can get this out to the left, I think I might be able to have a view of the green and hit my 7 iron at the green. But that's drifting. I'm into trouble. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.